Hello YouTube, Robin Hood Bricks here, and it's Brick Hall O'Clock with another package from Bricklink.com. Uh, but first, I need your help with some video purchases. Yes, before we get into this great big package, I did want to uh, get your help on how I can use some of my new video characters, which I got last time in a subscriber haul, very generously donated by Oliver. Uh, there is one missing already because uh, that was the uh, raspberry bear who's already gone to the sweet shop up in the Lego room. But the rest I think I need some help with, especially the very cool slime guy who I think we did see last time in detail. Uh, and this rocker's very cool indeed. Uh, I think I could use the alien in the uh, cantina, alien cantina, when I ever get to that. I don't know. And maybe the one in the new series 22 that's coming up. Uh, and this one will have to go with the cabaret singer, I think, probably in the pink uh, flamingo nightclub. But the rest, I have no idea at all what to do with, uh, except for maybe the pirate. And the reason I say that is because, well, I'm guilty of buying yet more uh, video tat. <laughs> Some of you definitely think it is uh, by spending good money on da, 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 the punk pirate ship which is one of the stage sets, uh, 43114. Uh, and I got this one mainly because it's absolutely fantastic minifigures, including the squid drummer. No, he's not an octopus. I assumed he was, but um, in the middle there. And he's just absolutely fantastic. So I couldn't resist him. Uh, but also this set, I think it's supposed to retail for £50 in the UK. Uh, or is it 60 I can't remember. But anyway, I got it for 25 because of a promotion on Amazon, which had it reduced half price and then f a further £5 off. So I thought for £25, it's got to be worth it. Uh, and I think it's pretty cool. I think I prefer the shark side of this setup than the uh, skull one. So I might as well turn that around. But yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Now, it does have a little sort of back room, which I don't think is necessary. Oh, I've just thrown a shark across the room. Uh, so I might get rid of that and kind of chop that off, get rid of the second head, and maybe actually use it in my city as a stage. And maybe this is a real-life band, all sort of themed on punk pirates. Because if we put this one right at the top here that's completely out of shot, and we put the shark that I just knocked off, back onto one of the plinths. We bring in from series one, the other shark who's got a microphone. And then the thing that started it all off, <laughs> the pirate beatbox 43103 has the other guitarist with the other wonderful anchor guitar. Uh, maybe he could be on that plinth. And then if I just wheel up a little bit so you can see all six of them, well, barely in shot, but you get the idea. That could be quite a fun stage. Now, that could go in the fairground, or it could go somewhere else, sort of on a square or something like that. I don't know how much room I've got for it in a city, but I don't know. I quite like it. It all kind of ties together in colours. You'll have to tell me what you think. Uh, but yeah, I would chop off the back so it's a bit smaller. I mean, ideally, I'd have a great big crowd watching them sort of on all three sides, sort of like this was extending into the crowd, uh, and maybe have them all moving and these guys moving, just like um, Lego Paradise did with his sort of animated stage. If you haven't seen that video, do check it out. It's very cool. Um, but yeah, I'm in two minds, so that's why I kind of need your thoughts on that. But for £25... Uh, even if I just use these ship pieces as part of a wreck underneath the sea in my cabinet, 20,000 bricks under the sea, then I don't think it will be uh, a bad score, especially with the three cool minifigures. Anyway, that's enough video. Uh, let's get on to the box. Good, good. Well, all these orders generally have something in particular that started them off. Uh, and in this case, it was, well, a dog. <laughs> it started with a dog. <laughs> or maybe actually two dogs. Uh, but became aware of one particular dog that came in a Jurassic Park set that I didn't have in my dog collection. So I started looking for people who had uh, one of those. And there weren't many. Uh, and then somebody had another dog that I needed, an old English sheepdog from Friends set uh, or... or Disney one and um, basically this order sort of grew and grew and grew when he had more and more and more good stuff that I really wanted so that is where this whole order uh, originated and some packing there there are just two bags and oh get rid of the box some stickers here just get rid of the paperwork there we go wonderful 
So a very bright and well packed order. I'm going to go through as I usually do this one, even though I'm dying to get to the dog. <laughs> because yeah, he had absolutely loads of stickers, old and new. And even better than the stickers is this. This is the parachute piece from, uh, what was it? It was the Sky Police set, uh, 60210. Never been opened. I'm just going to ruin that now by tearing into it. Yes, yeah, so that was kind of the big HQ set, and I really didn't want to buy that because, well, there's not much in it I wanted apart from the parachute. And you'll know that I've got the orange version of this parachute in use over my city. Um, but I kind of like collecting things when there's more than one variety. Uh, this is the plastic sort of element of it that holds it onto the minifigure. Uh, so I thought whenever I saw this for a decent price, uh, I would get it as well. And whether I use this over my city or not, or just throw it in the air with a minifigure attached uh, down my uh, stairs, because <laughs> that's the best place to throw it, uh, just for my own entertainment, then so be it. Because um, I did really enjoy using the orange one, because I am a child at heart after all. Uh, so that is a really good purchase. Stickers. Well, I bought the pieces with these stickers on uh, for the uh, Atlantis set, Angler Attack 7978. Oh, look at that beautiful face. Uh, but basically, I saw this for very cheap and, well, it's the original unused sticker, so I don't even have to move the ones I've got. So I just thought that would be a lot easier and they'd be absolutely perfect. So, yeah, I got that. Uh, then there was a real extravagance when I got all the stickers for the Ninjago City Garden set, 71741. And this set me back about £7, which is relatively reasonable considering how much they are uh, being asked for. Uh, but I wanted a few in particular. One was this sort of uh, dragon head bit, which is part of a computer game that, that, that's on like an arcade machine. You actually sort of control the motion of the figure. So I really wanted to be able to replicate that for my city without buying such a huge set. Uh, but also I really like these movie posters. And we've got a wonderful sort of Explorers one there. And we've got the Sharknator one there, which is just absolutely fantastic. That is a real life uh, part of a um, Ultra Agent set. And it's just amazing. That's probably on my absolute most wanted pieces. I'd kill for the Sharknator shark uh, from the 70172 Antimatter's Portal Hideout set. Uh, anyway, and then there's another sort of Space Police uh, movie poster. Uh, and I think I've got that alien. If I haven't, I've got the, definitely got the orange version of it. Uh, and these are real life Lego sets, most of these pieces. I really like them. Uh, and then there's loads of signs, more arcade machines and TVs and stuff like that. So, yeah, that was an extravagance, those three, but I don't regret it. Uh, then we've got a few more stickers. This one wasn't very important, but it had some good dials on it and this nice chicken symbol that I might be able to use either for my farm or some cargo or uh, the supermarket, perhaps. Uh, and they were from the 70920 Egghead Mech Food Fight. <laughs> from 2018, a Batman set, which has the wonderful character of the Condiment King as a sort of uh, side character. He's just sort of got two guns where he's kind of firing ketchup and mustard. I don't know if he exists outside uh, Lego, but um, he's absolutely fantastic. I must get him as well. He, he's definitely on my wanted list. Uh, then I got this one, which is just another one of those downtown Fire Brigade 60216 sets, but I just love that fair sticker, so I'm pretty much getting it just for those, even though I may well be able to use these control panels and stuff as well. So that's a minor extravagance, because I love that poster for advertising my fairground. Oh, and a clock. Oh, and a play feature thing. So yeah, I should be able to use some more of that. Uh, then these two are very interesting. Uh, sets I don't really know much about, but they're the kind of Monster Jam um big sort of technic uh four by four uh monster trucks really so there's two here there's the uh 42118 grave digger uh so i thought i might be able to use those on a future ride if i did make a sort of haunted house if you get rid of the sort of advertising there or maybe a game or goodness knows what but i also really like these huge flag pieces for a jolly roger which i might be able to use uh in my under the sea cabinet so I thought they were well worth the price they were. And then just one set number on, 42119, was another monster truck called Max D. So I don't know what that really means, Max D, but anyway, that's what it's called. Uh, and I just kind of really like these big sort of almost Transformer-esque sort of metal-headed uh, <laughs> uh, logos going on here. So, I mean, that could be a garage or something later or a sort of 
customs uh, outfit that does up cars or something like that. Or maybe I'll stick them on a big monster truck of my own build later. I don't know. But um, yeah, it wasn't that much. I thought, yeah, go on then. I'll have that. So, I mean, already what an array of awesome stickers I've got there. Uh, you can see why I stopped at this store to make a full order. <laughs> right, so on to the first of these two bags. And they don't seem to be particularly uh, ordered in any way. So I'll just go for a massive heave out of all the pieces and see what leaps out. Now this is a brand new large flag piece in black which is going to take those Jolly Roger stickers so I'll be careful not to scratch that. This is very interesting and he's put it in a nice bag on its own so it doesn't get scratched which is definitely appreciated and check that out. So it's kind of a cockpit piece with these uh, sort of fork uh, holder things here but in trans red uh, and it looks lovely with this sort of uh, compound eye type uh, pattern on it because that's what it was when it was part of the uh, 70708 Hive Crawler set from uh, Galaxy Squad in 2013 uh, and I thought that might be a sort of coral as you can probably imagine that's what I might use it for but I think it would be really good at that job sort of like a big big brain coral really and imagine other plants sort of overlapping it on all sides I think it'd be really good so there's that. Aha! Here is the guilty party that caused the whole order. The wonderful sort of brownie red, dark orange is it technically? I don't know. Husky. Check him out. Very nice indeed. So he was from 75935, Baryonyx Faceoff. Uh, and he's unique to that set. And it doesn't seem that many people either bought that or want to part with it, uh, which I can understand. But yes, yeah, so he started off the whole order. <laughs> How wonderful. Well, I'm really happy to have him. And yeah, looking for another dog. There is the other one I got while I was here. I don't usually get the sort of friend style dogs, though this one is from an Ariel uh, Seaside Castle set, 41160. Uh, two others as well. Uh, but he's quite cute and he's not too sort of friend's eyes with doughy eyes and everything. So um, yeah, he's really nice. He's called Max, apparently, the old English sheepdog. Yeah, yeah, so I really like him as well. So he can go with the dog collection. Then we're starting to get some more video stuff, but these ones I thought were very nice and come with um, one of the sets that I'm not getting, uh, the, the beat, uh, Beatbox, no, Boombox, the Boombox 43115 set. Uh, only one with each of them as well, so it's good to get two of them here because they're just dying to be used in my vinyl record store, aren't they? I mean, either as a sign or maybe on one of those booths when you can sort of listen to a record before you buy it. don't even know if they have those anymore. It's called streaming nowadays, isn't it? <laughs> but anyway, I might have one of those retro booths in my store if there's space for it. So they're really nice to have. Ah, that's the last piece for a build that will be coming up soon now. Uh, won't tell you much about that, but it's sort of an engine mounting. A few of those. can't remember why I got those. Sure, there's a reason. And now these are really interesting. There should be three of these. Hopefully, I've been looking out for these for absolutely ages. One, two, please be a third. Please be a third. Can't see it. Oh, there it is. Yes, there is three. So these are a video screen with TV in the bottom of a pop star doing a song. And I wanted to make a video wall. You know, when the performer's performing right in front of, well, absolutely loads of TVs saying, uh, showing exactly the same thing. And the reason why I needed three of these is because I already had, dun dun dun, how many this is. And what I need them for is to make a huge backdrop for a stage. <laughs> now, since I had this idea, we've since got that video stage. So basically, I'm going to have to have more than one stage, or maybe this could be a video wall in that vinyl record store. But you see how cool that's going to look <laughs> with a performer in front of it, preferably one with pink hair and a microphone. Yeah, I think that'll look really good. So those are the ones I already had. I'll give those a quick wash, unless they were new. Other tiles in here include some more video ones. And you think, Groan, why more video ones? Well, I'm starting as I mean to go on, or I'm meaning to go on as I started, whichever way around that works. And there should be about six or seven in here. Uh, and these are the ones for the sets that I'm definitely not going to be buying. So like that boombox set that I just mentioned, and also the K-Porp 
concert 43113, which is just, well, horrid, really. Probably the worst set I've ever seen. <laughs> Uh, but I do quite want the tiles, then I'll have absolutely full collection. And although even I agree that is very sad, uh, nonetheless, uh, I'm doing it. <laughs> so there we go. There's another one. Right. So these are quite nice, actually. I mean, check that out. That is so cool. I just really like them. I don't, I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense. But anyway, I'm going to keep going with that. So what else is leaping out? There's the parachute uh, connection for that new parachute I've got. This I thought I'd experiment with. It's kind of a sprocket wheel in yellow, but it's got all these holes very closely placed together. And I thought it'd be great. It's kind of the base of a really weird plant under the water. And it could have loads of things sprouting out the top of it. Because it's all very well having all these tentacle pieces. But you need something to connect them all together. Lots of glitter pieces, like these glitter domes here, and these glitter um, saucers, and these glitter cones, and they'll all be used under the sea. Here's another piece, so brand new, it's in its own little baggie. And this was the last oh, of the Atlantis keys that I needed, the purple one. So you can see again why I had to shop at this place. Once I had all this, just this already that I've mentioned, number of things that I really liked, then, well, I had to stop here. And I don't know what that symbol is. Sometimes I think it's a triangle. It's definitely described as a triangle in the um, catalog. But I think increasingly that that is actually a G and maybe a G for Guardian. I don't know. If you do know that because you used to get some comic book or play some computer game or something, then I would appreciate knowing that. But that is shiny and new. Love that. Uh, there's a couple of Vita or Vita Rush flaglets that were on that uh, recent skate park set, uh, 60290. Uh, I was going to get these on bricks and pieces, but would you believe that they were £2.27 for one? What? <laughs> That's ridiculous. Maybe they cost a lot to print, but um, they are very nice. Uh, but they were 20p here, so that makes a lot more sense. So I think I'll have somebody trying to sell Vitarush at the uh, uh, fairground or something like that. What else is interesting in here? Uh, I experimented with these sort of uh, candle pieces in the coral, because coral does actually fores under UV light. Uh, so they'll be sort of stacked up to make some weird coral, presumably. What else is interesting in here? I finally got my hands on the lime uh, colored, um, I forgot what they're called now, wheelbarrow. There we are, get there in the end. Because I've got all the other colors and I was sort of doing either a procession of workmen or with different colored wheelbarrows, which is what I've sort of started, or maybe um, fairground carnies with them all full of money all sort of wheeling it uh, away from the paying public. But either way, it's nice to have one of each four colors of that. Uh, I've got more of these burger pieces, which I really like to make stupid burgers. And this being the other side, so a minifigure can hold it with the uh, hole in the bottom and then loads of fillings. And maybe I'll make some stupid um, Scooby-Doo size ones about that big. What are they called? Dag Dagberries or Dag Dagwoods? Dagwoods, aren't they? Something like that. Somebody told me that and I've forgotten it. Yeah, Dagwoods rings a bell. We've got a Sebastian the Crab, who's also from Ariel, isn't he? So 10765, Ariel's Underwater Concert from 2018 for that, amongst others, uh, where he's playing the clam bongos. <laughs> Somebody's got to. Um, so yeah, again for Under the Sea, it's a bit comic-y, but you know, variety, spice of life and all that, so that's nice. Now for a train build, you might be interested to know. A lot of these tan pieces are for a challenge that somebody set me on something being sent in before, so there to build a little vehicle, uh, including that. That is an interesting piece, yep. Yeah. It's just a visor for a helmet, but it's got these sort of teeth marks on or rather teeth profile on, uh, and that's unique to the set 70829, Emma and Lucy's escape buggy from the Lego Movie 2. Or is it, actually? No, it might actually be in the Apocalypseburg set as well. But either way, I thought that'd be quite fun for either one of my stunts people to have on their helmets or maybe a mechanic or something like that. So that's great. And wow, aren't these... I think these pieces are all new, actually. They look absolutely immaculate. Uh, so I might try and keep them roughly separate from the great big next bag, which should be coming up here. And this one has just as many treasures in it, if you ask me. Is just as bright and just as wonderful. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. 
absolutely fabulous. Well, I'm going to delve straight in for this bag of transparent pieces because I've been anticipating this one for a very long time. Uh, and it's from that antimatter set, uh, the uh, Ultra Agent 70172 Antimatter's Portal Hideout from 2015 that I mentioned the wonderful Sharkinator Shark uh, earlier on that sticker. And this represents uh, antimatter's kind of portal. And if you don't know the story, basically you get a nice person, throw them through the portal and they pop out the other side being really nasty, uh, really na nasty villains. So, for example, Inferno, who's the sort of fire-based one, was a fireman. So it kind of reflects your darkest side. And fortunately, if you throw a bad person through it the other way, they turn out good. But I thought I could incorporate that. And that looks absolutely brand new, to be honest. So maybe both these bags are new. Um, I thought I could incorporate that in my Daily Bugle scene somewhere. But that is absolutely great. Because there's other antimatter dishes, but they're smaller than that. And this one's got a nice clip. So I should be able to just sort of mount it on the street level or something like that. And you never know, I might be able to put somebody halfway through it or something like that. Though I'll probably have to cheat uh, because there's no way of connecting somebody to the middle of there. I'll play with it and see if it's worth cheating. What do you think on cheating? Should I, should I do a cheat on that one? Let me know what you think. Uh, it's all very well keeping very pure and true to Lego, but um, there's no rules after all, are they? Or at least you should set your own rules. Now, I know this is used, and I'll just build it. It is a bizarre, absolutely bizarre minifigure. And, yeah, it gets worse. It gets worse. Oh, look at that. What on earth is that? Is that the most bizarre Lego minifigure you've ever seen? Have you seen this little vestigial arm there and this sort of plant piece or something? Anyway, this is from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, 79120 T-Rocket Sky Strike from 2014, which is a weird set, but I do like Krang's Flying Saucer. Looks very silvery, actually. Uh, but this character is apparently the mutated Dr. O'Neill, who is April O'Neill's dad, the sort of uh, girl interest in that cartoon. Uh, and apparently he gets turned into a mutant bat called the Kirby Bat, because that's his first name, Kirby. Uh, Kirby Bat. Uh, yeah. I mean, how do you describe that? Absolutely crazy. So uh, it was there. It wasn't that badly priced. I mean, it was fairly dear because it's so rare, but not too bad. Uh, I have no idea where I want it or where it would go, <laughs> what I'd do with it. But but wow, <laughs> wherever it goes, it's going to make an impression, that's for sure. So um, yeah, ideas as well for that fantastic monstrosity. There's one more minifigure in here. Yep, here we go. This is much more tame. This is the uh, kind of stunt uh, driver for the mobile stunt show, 31085. Uh, and this torso is why I got it, really. It's uh, unique to... Well, it's not unique, actually. It's from two sets. There's a stunt playing one as well, both creator sets uh, from 2018. But, um, yeah, I just like that. It was only about a pound or something. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's a really nice... Really nice torso, that. There we go. Ooh, I've been looking forward to this. This sort of brand new Ninjago Stingray. It's in a couple of sets, like 71756, Hydro Bounty, uh, where it's kind of pulling the chariot for Prince Kalmar, who I haven't got. Well, I'm not sure if I want. I mean, I could, could definitely use it, but he's quite expensive at the moment. So there we go. But that is a beautiful uh, set and a beautiful animal as well. I love this colour. It looks even better on the underside without the patterning, to be honest. But yeah, I really like that. So that will go in my cabinet, as you can imagine. Very nice. That's for a billboard. That and these and these are for another train build. Train stuff, basically. So I'm looking forward to building that. I might have all the pieces I need for that now. Oh, that's very vital. That's the part of that um, Ninjago arcade machine that I was telling you about where you kind of jump this character to get him to beat up that dragon sticker <laughs> that we looked at right at the start. That's vital. Here is another glitter piece, but this is the hair from the uh, Hogwarts Room of Requirement, 75966. Uh, and I already had the big stag one, uh, and I was going to use that for an ice sculptor. 
uh, as a scene in my city. And now I see that uh, an official Lego set has got the same idea and I haven't actually shown it yet. So it'll look like I'm following them rather than the other way around. Um, <laughs> so, oh well. So I thought I'd have another one he'd already done. But yeah, that idea has since been uh, kind of made a lot more public. Then I've got three of these, I think unique actually, uh, sort of half meteor sort of pieces with the sort of, um, uh, what are they called? Kind of circular bits missing anyway, uh, in this trans neon orange. And I thought they could be used as part of a plant again, a really wacky one for the sort of bottom level that's gonna fresh. Maybe they'd be on stalks as sort of big flower heads or something like that. Uh, they were actually unique to the uh, Star Wars Gungan subset, 9499, uh, which is that crazy uh, rare one, or at least <laughs> the minifigures, including the Queen Amidala, are crazy rare and crazy expensive. So loads of you'll find that set for sale without the minifigures quite easily. <laughs> but with them, no, not very easily. So anyway, three of those. A couple more goldfishes for prizes on the fairground. That's uh, from the Sesame Street set, but it's also now in the um, Seinfeld set, 21328. So that looks good for use. A few of these, I'm not going to tell you what they're for. Uh, it's not for plants and the sea or something. Too angular for that, but I've got quite a few of them, haven't I? Actually, I don't remember needing six, but anyway, <laughs> I've got six. Uh, so I'll use those uh, for something or other. These are for a build that's coming up as well. Not the same as any of the ones I've mentioned. Got some colourful dishes. Now these are for under the sea. I thought I'd just have them in different sizes and different colours. They could all be almost sort of umbrella coral or whatever they're called. You know, sort of overlapping each other a bit, kind of like dishes at different levels. I think they'll look really good and colourful. So I've basically been buying anything that's got a wacky colour to it. Uh, one of those in purple I've not had before. Don't remember getting these. Are these glow in the dark? I'm thinking they must be. I've got an absolute load of these heads. Let me get my UV torch. Oh, they are glow in the dark. Oh, that's good. Well, that makes sense why I got them then, but I don't remember ordering those. But yeah, I've got about five, six of those. So that's really good. Uh, a couple of windscreen pieces there. The windows for those train doors. Uh, I've got some prison sort of barred doors. That might give you a clue as to what one of my upcoming builds might be. Uh, that in purple, which is very interesting, I thought. It's this, you know, it's the jet engine piece that we're probably all familiar with, but in trans purple, uh, that's only from one set, 41232 Superhero High School from 2017. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Oh, another hermit crab. I've since been given so many of these that I've probably got enough of those now, but they're just so adorable. How could you not get them? Got a Mohican in black. Always nice to have a sort of shorter length Mohican in red. Another one of those. Some plant pieces. Oh, brown headphones that were unique to the um, Hogwarts set. Uh, the uh, Hogwarts Herbology class, 76384. But I think they've come out in a couple more like the um, Brothor thing now. Uh, there's the... Umbrella from the Ferris wheel, amongst other things, uh, 10247. Oh, I wanted this for a little mini side build near my supermarket. I don't think that's spoiling that. I do need the other half, but I've got that in another order coming up. So no problem there. And is that everything? That's everything I can think of. Oh, yeah, that's that. Yeah, I think so. Uh, oh, there's one more piece, which is a wonderful decorated little clamshell. I think you can see that there. It's actually Clickets, so it's probably not going to connect with anything else. Clickets was an old sort of um, kind of thing before dots were aimed at girls making sort of uh, custom jewellery for themselves, but yeah, it might just have to rest on some sort of sandy uh, surface, loose, but it looks very nice and bright, so I did think I'd pick that up while I was there. But yeah, otherwise, I think I've gone through absolutely everything. So yeah, it started with a dog, or two. Wow, well that might just be one of the best hauls I've ever had. Uh, not only were the pieces perfectly clean and arriving in perfect condition, but the diversity on show here is absolutely spectacular. Uh, 
filling so many projects and inspiring many more builds as well. Absolutely amazing. Uh, and before we go any further in highlighting any specific pieces, I must apologize for the nudity on show in this video. When I ordered the Hermit Crab, I did not know he wouldn't turn up with a shell on. Uh, so, you know, he is fully exposed. And for that, I do unreservedly apologize. Uh, but that said, uh, one piece I did miss out was the uh, cheese from the uh, Speedy Gonzalez recent things that I can go in my uh, supermarket. Uh, but highlights, wow, where to start? Well, I think the antimatter dish I've been looking out for for absolutely ages, so I'm really looking forward to putting that in the scene. Ditto the uh, Guardian, is it? Do let me know uh, final Atlantis key for Under the Sea. All those stickers, especially the Ninjago ones that I can use for movie posters all around my city and that arcade machine, I'll be building that. Uh, and of course, the dogs. It started with a dog. Uh, I'll have to stop uh, singing as well. I've apologised for that before. But yes, yeah, too much to go through. Uh, but just to say, absolutely wonderful order. So as always, thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. Do remember to like, comment and subscribe for more awesome LEGO videos. And if you value this channel, there are many ways in which you can support it. Do check out the links in the description below. And if you want to send me a package, you can to the usual address and I'll get to it on a future brick haul. Uh, but otherwise, uh, on Friday, we'll have another build that will probably be a mock build rather than the fairground Monday, uh, which I'll then do on Monday. <laughs> uh, and then another haul next week as usual. So until all of that, see you. Raff, 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 raff.